How's it going? It's good. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. <laughs> and sex is important in marriage. Uh -huh. We get a lot of questions, a lot of comments where people say, you know, I just don't feel uh, attracted to my spouse or my spouse doesn't feel attracted to me. And, mm -hmm. and, um, or I'm you know, too tired. A, a lot um, of excuses. You know, like especially moms at the end of the day, I'm too tired for sex. Look, we understand, you know, but. Right. But sex is important because it is, it is it's, one it's of them, the covenant mm -hmm. that, or, or as, or as Leah calls it, it's the sticky glue that keeps marriage together. Right. Yeah. I mean, you have the covenant of a marriage, and then sex is the seal of that covenant. Yeah. You know, but when you go when you go to Genesis two twenty four and it says, "And the two shall become one," mm -hmm. or as Genesis two twenty five, that's what that's they're talking. That right. does the the physical coming together, the most intimate act that we can do mm -hmm. as humans. And listen, God made sex. But we treat like the devil owns it. And, you know, going back to Genesis, you know, it, it did not say, you know, the man and woman, you know, leave their father and mother and, and come together so the man can work and ignore his wife. And so the wife can spend all her time, you know, on the kids and ignoring her husband. You know, it says they shall become one flesh. You know, so you, you've got to make sure that you carve out the time. It doesn't no. matter how tired you are. It doesn't matter. And... And here's the thing, it's like there's got to be co a communication and compromise. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, you are tired. You're, you're tired of hauling kids around. You're tired of from your job. Um, but schedule a time for it, you know. Put down your computers and your work phones and your mm. whatever and carve out 20 or 30 minutes of time, you know. 20 or 30 minutes? You know, if you're on a, on oh, a hurry. Oh, that's including, like, the meal beforehand <laughs> and, and a movie <laughs> and you're, after. And you're, <laughs> you're hurrying. No, but listen. You know, and look, it sounds so unsexy to say schedule sex, mm -hmm. but you know, the chances of, 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 you know, of me being ready to go and, and Leah being ready to go at the exact same time, yeah, it's very uh, small, it's very small window. And then in that small window, you got to bring the dog out to potty or the kids got to go to ballet mm -hmm. or, or so, so you really do. If it gets down to, if you got to schedule it, schedule it. But listen, sex is just like marriage. If you don't treat it like it's important, mm -hmm. it's, it's not, not going to be important. important. Well, and just ask yourself, how much time, you know, like internet and technology is such a enemy of intimacy. Yeah. Men are like microwaves, right? No. They're they're no. always ready. Look, oh, you mean always ready? Right, always ready. Like we could high five in the hallway, and Scott's like, "Sex, let's go," and I'm like, "Wait a second, you know, women are that slow burn through the day. Um, you gotta have like that constant um, foreplay." That constant romance you know you can't just jump into bed at night and expect your wife to be ready when there's been no communication there's been right. no love words there's been no, no you're right um, affection there's been no hugs and that's a good segue um, into into knowing your love language mm -hmm. as much as this culture is inundated with sex sexual exploitation uh, movies magazines social media all this stuff mm -hmm. and yet we don't take the time to talk about sex mm -hmm. And, yeah, because it's a dirty word. Because it's been made a dirty mm -hmm. word. But look, make no mistake about it. God created it. Mm -hmm. It is for our pleasure. Uh, he, he gave that gift to us. Mm -hmm. And and within the confines of the marriage bed. And and that's and, and why we don't claim that, that authority and claim that pleasure and enjoy it, I think we're just victims of the cultural mores. Right. Thank <laughs> you, and God bless you. And we'll see you later. Yep. Bye.